Stranger Things has some of the best cast members on TV, but today we're thinking about just one, Maya Hawk, the girl that lit up our screens and won our hearts as Robin Buckley in Season 3, an official queen of Stranger Things. Sadly though, the next season of the show will also be the last, and Maya is out here telling us how she'd want Robin's story to end. So today, let's talk about Robin Buckley, shall we? First up, Maya wants her to die a hero. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Maya. What death? Robin can't die. She's immortal, right? Right? Yeah, well, we endorse delusions here, but we regret to inform you that this is a possibility. We've only got one season left, and literally every character is on the death radar. Maya Hawk recently revealed that if Robin Buckley has to bite the dust, she'd want her to go out a hero. That's fair enough. We're sure all actors would want their characters to have heroic ends. Still, Maya, do you have to put the D word out in the universe? Now that she has, let's expand on the idea of Robin being a hero. Do we think she has what it takes to be the savior of Hawkins? Yes, yes we do. And here's why. She's got the brains. She's brave enough to face Vecna and set that wetly squelching tentacle man on fire. She's got the guts to spit at that big Russian guy's face. She can give fake spontaneous monologues that sound legit enough to fool a literal psychiatrist. But there's also things we think are holding our girl back. For one, she doesn't have a filter or a firm grasp of social cues. For another, she has terrible coordination, and it took her six months longer to learn how to walk than all the other babies. Then again, the world is unfair and bad things happen to good people, so yeah, we agree with with Maya. If the lesbian queen of Hawkins must die, she deserves nothing less than a heroic end. Oh, and she must be remembered for it. If her end gets Eddie Munson, we riot. Up next, the scenarios she could die in. Joy is overrated, so let's suffer together and talk about how Robin could die. Listen, as with all other characters who are in danger of death, our girl Buckley might also see the light while sacrificing herself for the thankless town that is Hawkins. No, we're not over the treatment Eddie got. We saw Nancy and Robin's friendship develop over the course of season 4. And and as delightful as it was to witness, you can't rule out the possibility that Robin's potential death could be used as a plot point for Nancy. See, Nancy couldn't avenge Barb, and that guilt has grown over the years. Now, as cruel as it is to suggest losing yet another friend to Vecna might activate just the right amount of rage in Nance that she'll need to send him to hell. You know, it could become her very own, you took everything from me moment. Then again, it could be the very opposite of that. Nance might jump in at the last minute to save her friend from death, something she couldn't do last time. We also saw Robin and being quite invested in setting Steve and Nance up together. So if Stacy becomes a thing next season, chances are Robin might volunteer to step up to a death scenario just to keep the potential lovebirds safe so they can have those six little nugget Harringtons or something. Why was that a thing? Robin doesn't deserve to die for that. Following up, here's why she's in danger. If we're going to put Robin on the possible goodbye list, we better talk about the thought process behind these absolutely offensive thoughts. See, first, let's address the lesbian in the room. You're safe, we're talking about Buckley. Who squealed at the last scene between Robin and Vicky. Yeah, well, you know what Netflix usually does next, right? We have our faith in the Duffer Brothers, but we also have our trust issues because of how the show usually treats lesbians. Just as the two girls get together, one of them is sent to God's Theater to watch the rest of the show from there. We also shouldn't forget that the show is set in the 80s, so they'll have to deal with Vicky and Robin carefully. As much as we hate to say this, we think by the end of season 5 we'll be one lesbian short. Another reason why this gorgeous, amazing, talented girl is in danger is that she's not one of the main characters. Like, she's only been in here for two seasons. We know how willing the Duffer brothers are when it comes to killing the main characters, not at all. Now, if they want to beat those allegations for the next season while also staying true to their no main character homicide policy, Robin is the safest option. All right, now let's pretend we didn't say any of that. Robin mustn't die. Astro girls of the world, please reverse manifest or something. Coming up, why Robin must live. Killing Robin would be a blatant hate crime against all lesbians. Would you want to do that, Duffers? This should be reason enough. Also, Robin deserves to live because she can't have two heartbreaks in a row. First, that Muppet-sounding Tammy Thompson makes her cry, and then you think you can kill her before she finds happiness with Vicky. No duffers, you better not. This is a threat. And is no one going to think about that poor boy Will? With the untimely expiration of Robin's life subscription, you'll be taking away the buyer's boy's chance of having an older emotional support lesbian to guide him. Yes, you will give us a Will-Robin dynamic, stranger writers. Well, those are just opinions. Here's our very critical summary based on facts of why the duffers must let Robin live. Please, for the love of all that's good and green on this earth. Now for other death picks. Now that we've taken the road of unholy predictions, why not take it a step further and see who else might die next season? It's hard to say this. It's physically straining, but Steve. Steve the Hare Harrington. One dingus to rule them all. Listen, Steve's death just makes sense. If he dies sacrificing his life for the kids, that'll be almost poetic. Cruel, but poetic. Oh, and we all remember his monologue about his dreams for the future, right? Now, if you've seen enough horror stuff, you know that when a character does that, it means they're bones. We hope with all our hearts that we're wrong about this, 
this, but something just tells us our boy's a goner. Let us know if we entered the blasphemy territory yet, but we think Dustin isn't safe either. Think about it. What's sadder than Harrington dying for his kids? His very own child sacrificing himself to save Steve's life. See, Dustin now has trauma from Eddie's death, so if the time comes, don't you think your adorable nerd would step forward and die to protect Steve from meeting the same end? We think he would. You know what? That's enough reality for today. Time to go back to delusions. All the kids will live happily ever after. Robin and Steve will have a fun buddy cop spinoff. Will will find happiness. Nancy will be free from the shackles of the love triangle. She looks better with guns and newspapers anyway. Max and Lucas will go watch their movie. Elle and Hopper will have a nice catch-up. Ted will enjoy his chicken in peace. End of story. Now let's talk about what Duffers think of Maya Hawk. First off, she's one in a million. The Duffer brothers wrote a special about Maya Hawk recently, and they said that she's one in a million. Well, tell us something we don't already know. They said that at first, they weren't sure how long Robin's character was going to stick. The producers just didn't know what to do with her, but because of her personality and talent, they were sure soon enough that this character was here to stay. Oh, and they want us all to know that Maya doesn't have bad coordination. She runs just fine. Moving on, Hawk has nice things to say too. As it turns out, the respect between the Duffers and Maya is mutual. Speaking about the way they write for their characters, especially when it comes to the controversy that the Duffers don't kill main characters, Hawk says that they write that way because they fall in love with the characters and the actors they're working with. According to her, they write all stories so beautifully because they're truly invested in the characters. So yeah, Maya doesn't seem to have a problem with how they don't kill their characters. She says it's because of love. Lastly, her musical talents. In the special they wrote about her, the Duffers also praised her as a singer and songwriter, mentioning her latest album, Moss. You know what? She deserves all that praise. Not only did her album receive positive reviews, but her upcoming tour is also looking pretty good. The pre-sale tickets for her EU and UK tour were sold out in less than a minute. Uh, the power she holds. That's a wrap for this video. How do you think Robin's story should end? And what are your picks for the season 5 deaths? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.